Mate, she's a slog in here. Probably halfway to where I want to go tonight. Boise. Beautiful part of the country as always. New Zealand's just so freaking beautiful, man. Look at this place. My pack is loaded to the brim. I don't know how heavy it is, but it's heavy. I don't really have any time limits for coming out of here. You've got your own food. I'm carrying all his food too. I've got a big bag of Boise food in there. So, better eat all that this week. Big country around here, boys. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Oh, how nice does that look, man? I've just come to a big clearing. There's fresh deer sign. Dares walk through literally minutes ago by the looks of that. See if we can see it. Looks like a stag. Been on a trail for five hours now. I'm actually feeling a bit buggered, man, to be honest. Raise this grass down quite heavily. Something running around in there. A few animal tracks. Pretty fresh, man. Been a bit quiet, but I'm half expecting to actually see some animals. Plus, I'm fed. <laughs> I need a rest. This is my first base for the trip. Man, there's deer sign everywhere. <coughs> man, man, good to have that off. I'm buggered. What do you reckon, boy? Oh. Nice. Pretty homely. Right, let's just take in around me. We've got surrounded by some pretty nice mountains. I'm gonna be hunting the tops. See what's around. There's deer tracks right here. Literally right behind the hut. Yeah, pretty cool. I reckon I'll see deer from here if I sat here on evening, waited till the sun drops. Little piece of paradise, eh, Nixie boy? Hey boy, a little bit of paradise down here. Bloody good man, so peaceful. Just take it in for a second guys. Take that in. Me and Nixie boy are the only two in a pretty big area, so there's no one around. You hungry boy? Must be his dinner time, eh? You hungry? You done well. Old dog like that, walking a long way, so he's done pretty good. I'm just checking around the hut. Like there's a lot of these grass clearings. These big open these big open meadows. So deer sign all over it. Like look at this. Like I'm picking that we're probably gonna see a deer from from the hut or from this general area while I'm here. If it's a big stag, an old stag, he might be on the menu. Bit of snow at the top. Yeah, pretty awesome spot, man. Look at all the, these are all deer prints. So much deer sign here, it's not even funny. Can you imagine being here in the raw and just having stags ripping up these trees? Like that one's this year. That's this year. Yes, actually. It's actually done that this this past raw that's 
not long gone. Can you imagine being out there hut and having stags just roaring their guts out in your little hut clearing? The hut's just around that corner. Now look at this. Someone claimed this as their own. Dear Pooh, this is home for a little while, so you guys should be excited because I am. This is going to be awesome. All right, change of plans. I was going to sit back and light the fire and relax, but I'm too amped. So we're going to go and see if we can find a deer, go for a walk till dark and yeah man, we'll just sneak our way around. Bloody big brown trout. I could have caught that with my hands nearly. He was right there, shallow as. Getting to the time of night when we'll see some deer, so. Let's keep going, guys. So I'm moving camp literally just packed up what I didn't show you is that this morning I ended up going for a hunt I climbed the big face above camp and um, it was gnarly man it took me hours to get to a certain point and I realized it was halfway so I backed out of there it just wasn't going to be worthwhile I'd get up there have an hour hunt and then I'd be, have to come back down so I'm packing up we're heading up the valley but how cool is this it's like a blooming fairy tale or something Let's call this fairy tale bush <laughs> on the trail to our next stop, guys. Let's go. Bloody Perry's. If you know, you know. New Zealand, eh? Pretty freaking cool place. I'm real stoked to be able to take you guys on these adventures. Some of you might not be able to do something like this. Or you might live in a different country, so... Real happy to bring you along. Come on, boys. Good boy. Pretty good spot for lunch, I reckon. Get some water. The old. Look at the steam coming off. Look at boy. I'm not going to have any of my fancy meals, just some noodles and some soup. So let's get some liquid into me as well. Bloody good. Megzy boy's got the idea. A few deer tracks around here. They must be coming out onto that grass. Imagine if this big old stag walked out while I'm having lunch. found the spot that I want to hunt. I'm just tucked away down in the bushes now just to keep my voice from traveling into this basin. So I'm pretty excited to show you. It's taken me three days of hiking to get back into here. The wind's in my face, perfect wind. But this place looks absolutely amazing so we're going to make the most of it. Looks real nice down there. Sun's just starting to hit the grass too. I'm just hugging these ferns on the way through, just so I can sort of keep concealed as I'm heading up, up the valley. The sun is hitting the other side of the valley. It looks like it hasn't hit here for a while, going by all this frost. 
So I'm gonna head up to the sunny side and we'll set up there. I'm thinking that's where the deer are gonna be. It's pretty cold here right now. We'll go and find a vantage point somewhere where I can overlook all that sunny country and we'll just set up there and we'll wait. Definitely deer will be in this area. There will 100% be deer and I'm sure something's gonna come out this evening. So hopefully a stag. It's far too cold in this fern though, so I'm not expecting to see anything right here. How cool, how cool does that look though? Pretty amazing man. See the sun. Cold boys, she's a bit icy. This meadow is quite elevated, right up in a hanging basin in the mountains. But yeah, we're a fair way up. I've climbed quite a bit to get up into here. set up in a nice, nice spot. Really good vantage, better, best spot I've found so far. Right now feels good to me, real good. So I'll just show you camera there. That tree there is the one that I'm gonna shoot off, hopefully, that tree there. One of the things I like to do when I've located a spot like this where I'm gonna set up for a while. So I like to walk along and just clear the paths. Now there's two spots that I'm going to be going backwards and forth to. This spot up here is quite a high vantage point. It's higher and I get a really good view from up there. And then this is the main spot down here where I'll probably do the shooting from. So first thing I like to do is go along and um, clear anything off the path so I can move between the two spots quietly. So, yeah, just like that, I can move between the two bossies pretty easily now without having to worry about stepping on sticks and crap like that. So, yeah, this is the view from this top vantage point. You have a look at this. area mainly but down there I can see that other bush edge over there which actually when we were sneaking in here there was fresh stag track walking along coming along that bush edge and we cut across here but the stag tracks kept going it was fresh enough for a boy to get some scent off so it looks like he's gone embedded in that area so that's why I've got the rifle and the big camera ready over here <laughs> oh boy yeah so that's the spot guys this is where we're gonna sit I finally feel like I'm hunting properly now we'll wait here till dark A little bit of lunch on the go while I wait. Go native spaghetti bolognese. Not too bad, mate. Yeah, I'm pretty much just waiting for the deer to start moving now. What do you guys think? Lunch for the view. Can 
smell something. A bit of back steak for your dinner, eh? Alright, forget a stag. I'll give you some back steak tonight. How does that sound? <laughs> Someone's getting a little bit ra a little bit raunchy over there, eh? Both of those are boys. <laughs> Poor bugger. He's getting hassled. Not as big as that other stag. But we're seeing a few, so it's good. If I see something mature, that's what we're looking for. If I see something mature, I'll get the rifle ready. around in the chamber ready. Bolt's not closed so it's not gonna fire. So if a big stag walks out then we're ready for him. Keep looking. Probably 20 minutes away from prime time. So we should see some more animals pretty shortly. Put range, range on where those stags were and see how far away they were. Definitely within shooting range. I first saw them when they were 139 yards. So, yeah, it's a pretty good shot, pretty easy shot. Pretty much most of the way across that clearing, the shoot, oh, if something big walks out. Something's gonna walk out again soon, surely. Biggest eggs just walked out, guys. Oldest eggs come out. I might shoot them. 